Okay. All right. What are we doing? What's going on? Okay. Time to get it together. Get it together. Putting on these headphones. It's serious now. Welcome to the bone zone. Okay. Oh, right. All right. Um, new headphones? No. Damn it. No. Um, we dropped a bunch of frames there for a sec, but I think that might just be because I was downloading a game. Well, that shouldn't, that shouldn't cause that, but alas, it did drop some frames. Just walking into a chat room and typing in Saints Row. What do we do? Trying to cause trouble? Come on now. I still need to retrofit the sound board with some of these. We the best music! No, I, I, maybe that. Sex is the best thing in the world. Whoa, whoa. Why isn't the young man wearing any pants? That's a great question. N43. Four and three, 43. Six and eight, 68. O oh, seventy four, seven and four, seventy four. O oh, seventy one, bang on the drum, seventy one. Bang on the drum, seventy one. Bad bingo. Bad bingo. Here comes Herbie, fifty three, beep beep. Here comes beep. beep. Here comes Herbie, fifty three, beep beep, beep beep. Here comes Herbie, fifty three, beep beep, beep beep. G fifty three. Here comes Herbie fifty three. Beep 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 beep. Five and four fifty four. Time for fun forty one. Time for fun forty one. That's what they always say. All right, let me make a couple of minor adjustments here, and we will get underway. Bad bingo. Jump and Jive, 35. The Second Rainy Day Woman, 35. I'm sorry, what? The Second Rainy Day Woman, 35. The Second Rainy Day Woman, 35. Okay. Three and two, 32. Buckle my shoe, 32. That's a bingo, well done. That's one level up, congratulations. Congratulations on leveling up. Third place, bingo. Second place, bingo. Welcome to the Larry King Bingo Show. Everyone, welcome to the Larry King Bingo Show. Hi, what's going on? Hey, this caption thing is not working, even though it is working. If, you, if that makes any sense. It doesn't. Hmm. I wonder why. I am there. There's a, they updated the, the people that make the caption plugin updated for the new version of OBS. And I see it transcribing off to the side. But it is not. 
Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Time for fun. 41. Time for... F- 5 and 4. 54. Bad bingo. Now, I, I just need... I'm sorry. I need, I need to hear Larry King saying bad bingo again. Scroll down to this directory here. Click on this. Bad bingo. Bad bingo. Welcome to the Larry King Bingo Show. No bingo. No bingo. Bad bingo. Welcome. Let's play bingo. Welcome. Let's play bingo. It's Friday. How's everybody doing? Huh? Huh? Let's uh, let's get into what really matters here, uh, everyone. We're chilling out, having a a nice Friday morning beverage here. Um, I. My wife picked this up. She brought it home. She was very excited to give it to me, but she held the label away from me. So for a minute, I thought it was another one of the Sonic the Hedgehog drinks. And I was like, oh, thanks. But uh, it is Mega Man Blue Bomber Slushy Bad Bingo Um, from the G Fuel Corporation. Which is, they have, they have uh, had mixed results here on our list so far. Some drinks that are okay, and some drinks that are the absolute worst. Um, it has the, the, uh, the, the design of this can. The logo, like they use the, this is like the original Mega Man 1 Mega Man font treatment, right? Or did they, did they even do a... I mean, that's not new, because this is when they did the Rockman logo for for Rockman 1, it was written in that font, I want to say. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure that I'm sure that logo was not generated specifically for use on this can. I'm sure Capcom made it for something. This is Blue Bomber Slushy. And uh well I don't know, let's just get into it. I don't know. Let's 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 not let's not wait around. Let's let's crack this open and see what's happening. Thanks everybody for joining me this morning. You can head over to uh a, a place on the internet to learn more. <laughs> um you can head over to dopeassvideogames.com, uh, sign up for the Patreon. You can head over to what guard.bike, that's the YouTube channel if you want to subscribe to that and and see v- if you want to see videos, if you want to see archives of these streams, that's actually probably your best bet because Twitch deletes them, you know. You know how Twitch be doing deleting these videos. The, yeah, you're right. This is the yes, the mega. It is the Mega Man Eight logo, Hog Honcho. You're right. That is, they did they did bring that back around again. Yeah, now that you mention it. Um, okay. This smells uh blue. You know what I mean. This smells like a uh, a blue beverage. Bad bingo. Bad bingo. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's. I'm I'm gonna bring up the the ranking here real quick because there's another drink that we had that that definitely had a similar vibe. Let's see, what's our let's copy the list in here. No, we need it with the numbers. Oh, don't bold it. What are we doing? Okay. This is the list as it stands today. Where's the blue one on this list? Um, what is this reminding me of? It's not purple haze. 
It's not Phaseberry. Though honestly, I can't remember a damn thing about Phaseberry anymore. Like that that information is gone. It's a good thing we made the list and kept the list because some of these drinks are not nece I'm not necessarily retaining. Is it Frozen Bombsicle? That's a blue, isn't it? Anyway, maybe I've not ranked any blue beverages yet after all. Phaseberry is Rockstar Punch. It is not. I'll, I'll tell you. Because that much I know. Because it's down here. And and the Rockstar Punch is up here. Yeah, maybe it's like maybe this smells like the bomb sickle. Okay. Here we go. This is Mega Man Blue Bomber Slushy. They could have made an E-Tank reference, but I think they did that. There was those off-brand uh, video game energy drinks a while back that just seemed super generic and shitty, and I think that one had an E-Tank motif. Tastes blue. Relatively sweet. There's a little bit of... Um, Hard, there's a, there's a hard chemical edge. Well, it's not hard. There's a chemical edge to this. Um, but it's not, um, it's not massive. It, it's not a, it's not a disqualifying amount of, it's not a Tetris blast level of, uh, chemicals, you know? Do I remember Crystal Pepsi? I thought Crystal Pepsi was terrible. Um, I thought it was really awful. No, uh, Dr. Steinman, we do not have the mother energy drink here. Um, I have received some mother in the mail years ago. Um, but, uh, no, I don't believe mother is sold here. Hmm. Yes. I mean, if you're, if you are clicking buttons to make your Amazon prime membership matter, then then jpaw 61 60 6 and 1 61 then here is your here is your social currency that's all it takes to get a man to say your name on the internet these days i guess here we are this is uh fine this is this is an absolutely acceptable drink let's uh let's close the notepad here so you can see you can witness the so you can witness this uh use notepad so i'm i'm using notion so i'm not using i'm not using notepad plus plus either because i don't want this version of the file to be saved because notion is doing all the numbering and storing and syncing it across devices in case i need to update the list from uh from mobile you know Thank you for the hot subs, Acer. Four and three, 43. And darkness returns. Inside. Ah. Um. And Sigma Factor for the bits. I, I hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. It is, uh, yeah, I'm, I've been having a pretty good week, I guess I would say. Um. Had the last day or so kind of um, looking into some Sega material. We are getting ready to record the next episode of Game Boys to Men pretty uh, pretty soon here. So I am, I am gearing up for that. Um, and I'm all eyeballing games for the next edition of the, uh, the Jeff Gerstmann Hall of Fame, which will, will happen in the relatively near future as well. I really should build a list of that. This energy, I should, uh, that's, that's my list I should open up in Notion is games I should do for that because I, I have not been keeping a list. And so when it comes time for the next one, I'm like, I had like 30 games that I thought were total naturals for this. And right now I'm drawing a damn blank, um, which is annoying. Maybe not as annoying as me burping into the microphone, but uh, you know, what are you going to do? Um, sorry, I was just like, this, this is an email to to my email address that I actually do read but it's from the dmv telling me to go paperless so um you know uh this is uh this is a drink i don't know it's not awesome but it's not terrible it, it's uh 
it's a mid range. It's probably a mid range kind of uh, drink. I'm gonna say it is. Hmm. I remember liking sour chug rug. I'm gonna say it. It's somewhere in the. Oops, oops, oops. Wait, wait. No. Hang on. Hang on now. Um. It's not better than Ghost Tropical Mango, but it is not worse than Bang Delish Strawberry Kiss. So it is somewhere in this range. I'm going to say it is probably better than Ultra Paradise. We've really got a peach block here. An unbroken block of peach flavored drinks. Um, but this, this flavor is so nondescript. It is so generically blue that I kind of wish it had a little bit more going on. You know what I mean? Shout out to True Blue Review and Insid Insidious Clock. And pizza buggers. I thought that said pizza burgers for a moment. And yam chop. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Um, I'm gonna say. Let's see. Where are we putting? Where are we putting G Fuel's Mega Man Blue Bomber Slushy? It is generically blue. I'm gonna say it is. Not as good as this peach stuff. I'm going to say it goes right here. I'm going to say that that's where we are putting G Fuel Mega Man. What the fuck is the name of this? Blue Bomber Slushy. Slushy with two E's. Uh, is our new number 16 here. I'll, uh, we'll put it in the, in the numbered list. And then I will, you know, just for posterity here. So you can see the new numberings, lock it in. It is truth. It is forever. And it is Friday. I, there's, a, I got to get a box. If you know what I mean. Um, I got some mail and I, I, I was going to open it on Wednesday's stream and I forgot to do it. So, uh, I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to grab, uh, this box over here and we're going to see what's inside of it. That's, uh, that's, that's my, that's my, for my next trick, we are going to, um, we're going to go, I'm going to. Anyway, up six and nine, sixty nine. Okay. Okay. Do I have a knife nearby? I don't know that I do. Oh, I think all my knives are in the garage. I'm not going to, so this is the, let's see, let's make, make sure I can show this. Yeah. So we got a box all the way from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, and it, it shakes like it's got beverages in it. Um, yeah, no, I, I, there used to be three knives sitting right here, but then I, I cleaned this room up when I had to, when the water damage happened and I had to clean out the shelves and all this other stuff, I ended up, um, I ended up having to, uh, you know, you know, move a bunch of stuff out in the garage for a bit. Very sticky. Very sticky. Okay, all right. That's
we've got some so you know some folks uh well package their um their drinks when they ship them and some people don't and you know well i don't know sometimes shit happens right J transit is a thing it's it's a hard thing thanks to broken kidneys this is this is all cans these are all cans this is all very well wrapped nice job there is a note Oh, yeah, here. Hey, Jeff, sending some drinks that I don't really see around whenever I'm in the States. Keep on fanging and banging from Shoshank. On the back of this is, oh, this is... This is the back slip case. This is the back cover out of a plastic slip case uh, for Inca, the video game, Inca. Is this the PC version? I don't know. Which is uh, now defaced with a note. These, this is bottles and cans. And clap your hands and all this stuff. Oh, gosh. It's purposeful and I should feel attacked. Yeah, I know. It says like, it's like vaguely threatening. There's a lot of cans in here. We're just going to pull them all out of the box so I can set the box down. Um, and then we'll start getting into what's in, what's in the box. Let's see. This is, yeah, I really do need a knife for this. This is, uh, this is not going to be as easy as it should be. Okay. This is a tiny can of Adrenaline Rush. Babida. Energizanta. That's not how you pronounce that, probably. Never trust a knife. Yeah, no. Well, you, if you cut yourself, well, no, you know. If you don't respect the knife, the knife will get you. That's always how it works. Um... Here we have a bag, uh, for a Walmart bag. A bag from Walmart. A Puerto Rican Walmart. Okay. It says Cyclone Energy Drink Fruit Punch. Look at this. Look at the design on this. It's so very... Uh, like, it's plain in a really nice way. 53 calories. A very specific number. Product of Austria. Where this where that's where all the good energy drinks are from. A refreshing energy drink with caffeine and vitamins. Enhance your personal performance. Pasteurized. Wow. That's I'm this is this is exciting and weird. This hmm. This feels too nice. Especially when I set it right next to this can of Mega Man. All right. We've got another can in this one here. Cyclone is uh when I I there's a I don't know if they still make it but there was some kind of like shitty tequila based beverage, I think. And we bought it at, when we were having a party. I think I've told the story before. Cyclone Zero Lemon Lime. That's very exciting. These look fancy. And, uh, I, I've told the story, like I had a, we we're living in the bad house and, you know, me and my roommate just kind of like living our lives, doing whatever. And we, we were living with this girl for a while and she, she was nice. She was very nice. But, uh, we got home. I got home on a Friday night one night, you know, I commute all the way home, seven, eight o'clock, something like that. She, she's like. We're having a party tonight. We're having a pimps and hoes party tonight. Me and my friends, we're having a pimps and hoes party here at the house. A pimps and hoes party. And we were like, no, no, let's, what's, it's seven, it's already seven. What do you, like, you're telling me right now that A, you want to have a party tonight, tonight, and also it is a costume party. Give me some time. Let a player play. 
anyway, uh, and so we had to, you know, it was one of those like last minute, like we've got to run through the Acai Cyclone Zero. This is, these are, wow, very excited about these. Um, and so we had to just like, it was one of those frantic runs through the liquor store and we're like, Cyclone, what is that? That sounds terrible. Let's get it. And, and then I, I just, I crammed it into the front of my pants and walked around with, I don't, it was like, here's, and here's original Cyclone. 140 calories. I think I'm gonna have to like have a dividing line on the list for, for drinks that do have actual sugar, uh, in them because so far everything on the list has been zero sugar. So it's been no more than like 10 or 20 calories. I don't know where the, I don't know where the cutoff should be there, but, uh. But yeah, maybe we'll we'll divide these into multiple lists. There's more. Hang on. This is this is a lot. Thank you. Uh, thanks to Shoshank for sending sending this stuff. Looks like we got maybe got three more. Oh, this is some kind of what? This is just Luke. You know, is this Lucasade or is this just what am I working with here? Okay, I'm gonna just keep tearing. Just gonna just keep tearing. Thank you, Scalizi. Sweatox. Zero sugar, eight ions, zero calories with zinc. It's blueberry reboot flavor. This is an electrolyte beverage. Um Which uh, doesn't look here. It does. This is less of an energy drink and more of an, uh, you know, a cool electrolyte beverage. Which is, which, that's cool too. It's blueberry reboot. I got all bummed out. I was on Twitter. That's the end of that story. <laughs> um. No, I, I, it was, you know, I saw some ad on Twitter, and it was like. This new TV show is starting and it's called Reboot. And I was like, they're bringing back Reboot, but it's not re it's not. It's not the re it's not the reboot you want. Uh Amp 365. Ginseng e Guarana on this one. They are yeah, they, they are bringing back I thought they were bringing back Reboot. But this this is this was something else. It was also called Reboot. I... So they, okay, so they did Reboot, Reboot, and it was terrible. That, that sounds, okay. Uh... Do those original episodes still hold up? I bet they don't. <laughs> this is, uh, wow. Wow. Lemon, lime, and tropical flavored soda. This is Sprite Daddy Mix. It's got Daddy Yankee right on it. Look at this. That's just fantastic. This is, I mean, not an energy drink, but also very exciting. Uh, I want to drink Daddy Yankee. If they, yeah, if they made a daddy milk drink, that would be um, very nice. Thank you so much to Shoshank. Uh, you, you have managed to be the first person to send drinks to the P.O. Box. If anyone wants to send stuff to the P.O. Box, the P.O. Box is below the player on Twitch. If you're not on Twitch and you're watching this somewhere else, I guess go to Twitch. I, po I posted the address on Patreon as well somewhere in one of those posts. But... um. Yeah, it's. I just got a notification yesterday that there was something else in the P.O. box, so. I will have to make my way over there. One of these days. Anyway. How about we do some video games? 
Do we have wrap snacks? Yeah, well, uh, I've I've had wrap snacks, not not recently. I just, I don't know if they're still making wrap snacks or not. Are they still making wrap snacks? I feel like I bought some wrap snacks a couple of years ago. Wrap snacks. I'm just going to keep saying wrap snacks. Wrap snacks. Okay. All right, I feel I feel better having said wrap snacks a handful of times. Yeah, they're Walmart. Yeah, that that is where I got this. That is where I acquired my wrap snacks. Was uh was at a Walmart. I think it was the same day that I bought uh Ring Fit Adventure. The difference is that I opened the wrap snacks. Whereas my sealed Ring Fit Adventure is still in this closet behind me. Well, um, let's see. Why don't we, um, get into some video games? I've got a list of, of games, many of them provided by the Gerstmann advisory panel over on the discord. Again, you can head over to enjoy your gaming.com enjoy your gaming to learn more about the patreon that gets you access to the discord and the bonus content and all that sort of stuff and uh you know and saddle up saddle up fuckers i don't know i don't know that's i don't i don't want to i don't need to mean to curse but but that is where you can find it out uh, fi that's where you can find it out i'm having a weird talking day it's been, a, yeah, sleep has been a strange thing this week. Um, my son has been teething. I, I think what he's going through right now is teething. So his his uh, morning sleep schedule has been real weird. I, I usually wake up around 4.15, 4.20 um, to get high as fuck. No, to, because uh, that's when we do the... Uh, the, the feeding, the, um, my, the, the, when the boy wants, uh, some, something to drink is right around that time. And so every morning or so we all get up about four twenty. literally not four thirty. Usually he, he wakes up like right at like four. I'll look at my phone and go, Oh, is it time? And it'll say like four eighteen. I'm like, Oh, all right. Got to get going. Um, and so this morning, like I'm, I'm checking out my phone and it's like, and Keely had retweeted that USA Today story that was like, yo, Amazon is buying EA. And I was like, that's not good. That was my immediate gut reaction. I was like, oh shit, that sucks. That's, that's not, that, that probably shouldn't happen. And, um. And then I was like, I went back to bed, like, oh, like, ah, I think I, I tweeted something saying like, ah, maybe it's just a bad dream. I'm going back to bed. And then when I woke up, CNBC was like, that ain't fucking happening. No, come on. So, uh, it sounds like that, that got po USA today, right? This is, we'll, we'll probably talk about this on the podcast, but, um, so USA today has a separate like sub site for games that they call for the win, which is, uh, you know, uh, if you can't trust the journalism of for the win of, yeah. I, so it's already like, ugh. um, then another layer deeper. When you read the story, it says, according to sources at G G H F or, or, or at G L H F. And I'm like, okay, well, is, is someone fucking with me now? Like, so I went to FTW to learn that good, good luck, have fun is reporting that Amazon is buying it. And so I like, they had a click through to a, the website. So, and then GLHF.GG is the website of these people that, that sourced this story. And they look like some kind of content mill that's like, Hey, if you want gaming coverage for your website, you can pay us and we'll make it. Who are we? That doesn't matter. You know, <laughs> like, like some shadowy organization that is. And, and so I, they, I guess they're based in Sweden. Um, anyway, so they, they ran a story. And so you look at it and you go like, oh, well shit, man. If USA Today is reporting it, it's probably well sourced at least. So you're like, okay, well shit, fuck. That's probably, that's probably something, 
Um, there's probably something to that. But then as, as you dig through it, and, and before I went to bed, I was like, something about this feels all the way wrong because of the way it's attributed to, you know, some website that will just generate content for you. Like it just like none of it, none of it made sense. And so waking up and seeing CNBC being like, yeah, no, our sources are saying fuck no. Um, but they're saying, they were saying like, fuck no, it's not happening today. I think it was as much as they went on the record about. So who knows? Who knows? I mean, everyone's talking to everybody, right? CNBC also inadvertently confirmed the reports that NBC Universal was trying to buy EA. So someone will probably eventually buy EA. Maybe it will be Amazon. G56. Five and seven, Heinz 57. Here comes Herbie 53, beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. Let's do some video games. The first game that was suggested uh, by the old advisory panel on the Discord was a little something called Destiny 2, which they just started their new season of weird pirates and shit. Uh, I played a little bit of it, but I figured we would dump, ju jump into that and take a look around. And, and see what's up with that. This is... Destiny 2 is not a game that likes to be alt-tabbed, or rather... I will say, so I, I went in and played a little bit of this, and their redesign of the subclass that I play, which finally happened, um, is very exciting. Uh, the, the, the tweaks they made to it is, is really quite awesome. Are, they are, in fact, they are quite awesome, I suppose, I should say. If we want to speak English, let's see. Uh, let me get in game here so that I can set it to windowed full screen and maybe that will help it to capture more easily. There's really, there's no, I don't think there's any way to, oh, the raid is live. Oh, I'm never going to be able to do that. <laughs> it's a safe bet. Borderless windowed or windowed full, I guess windowed full screen is what we want here. Apply changes. Yes. Will that make it work? Who can say? Mm. All right, let's try and do it manually then. Let's go over here. We'll click on this. And see if that has anything to say about it. I've definitely heard some people say that they have had uh, trouble capturing Destiny, but honestly, I've I have never really had a major a major problem with it. Um, it's usually just comes right in. But so far, nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we might not be able to do Destiny 2. I am clicking. Hmm. 
There we go. Okay. All right. So, um, this is the big thing here is this page, which, you know, if you don't play Destiny 2, is not going to necessarily make a ton of sense, but uh, this is the the page where you set up your subclass and all of that sort of stuff. They have replaced... The, uh, th so you've had this, as a Titan, you've had this little shield barrier that you can pop out for, you know, years now since the game started. They made it so you could replace that with a dash... Uh, which is great because I've barely ever used this shield and it's been fucking worthless. So, um, so yeah, I've, I've gone in favor of things that make you move and that's been working out pretty well. There's still aspects of, of the way destiny Two works and the there are aspects of like I, sure i guess i'll take that i don't know um of the social hubs and all of that sort of stuff that i just i, I don't even know what i'm doing um okay so let's go to quests here so i have a ton of quests Launch the catch crash activity from de the destinations tab in the helm. Seems to be the most recent one I have. And so, um, recommended power for, f okay. It says 1520 is the recommended. I have, wait, damn it. Okay. I guess let's see how this goes. This is this appears to be, is this a match made activity? Yeah, it is. So we'll see what this is. I, I don't, I don't actually know what this is, but they've, um, They've had a focus on with with this particular redesign of, of this subclass. To hear them tell it, they they want to focus it on movement and just constantly moving forward and fucking shit up. And I played through the intro mission and a, and a couple of other things. And and yeah, it's um, it feels very active and and that's so much fun and and this game still feels great and the art is still nice like it's still a very nice looking game and it's generally a pleasant experience i think it's really just like every time they do a season update and you jump back into it there is an aspect of just like what do i even do here i know that you've got these markers here but like i've got a bunch of quests from the last like five seasons or more in here still and and so sometimes it's easy to get lost on like wait what should i even be doing they've added this stuff i don't know what any of that is okay so we have current season and we have latest expansion okay maybe that's maybe those are the filters that are going to be the good ones anyway Let's see what this activity is all about. Gross. 
Okay, uh, so I guess right now I'm just shooting stuff. We are repelling the pirates. Now we are to align the cannon accelerators. Okay, that looks like it's over here. Let's go help this person stand in this hole. Another one over here. Oh, this one's already up too, I guess, huh? Okay, well. Someone's down. Let's see if we can go help. Yeah, the guys with the pointy spikes are our friends. They're part of our uh, our posse here, I guess. And this uh, this whole season seems to be, like I said, like vaguely pirate themed. But I haven't really done much yet. So other than them saying it's pirate themed, and then there being a weird uh, bunch of gold. Those are those are those other guys. Um, a big pile of gold on my ship. Nope, that's, that's them too. Okay, let's look at the mini-map, figure out where the bad guys are, and then go cut them. And by cut, I mean punch. There's oh, someone else down over here. Let's go this way. Okay, we shot everybody. This looks uh, vaguely familiar. I guess uh, the catch, I feel like we've boarded catches before in the old original campaign, right? In my experience, they keep the choice cuts for themselves. Then it is no surprise your crew was so eager to work for the Guardian. I've taken off my exotic armor that I've used for a very long time um, which lets me run a little bit faster because it seems like they've just increased a little the movement speed a little bit anyway or actually rather when I get amplified when I do some shit oh Jesus that tank fucking fell on me man Fires crewmate upgrade. Interesting. Oh. Okay, it's it's put a go kill this marker on some shit over there. Okay, so we have to get the Scorch Cannons and use those to blow up. Oh, there's two. There are two of them. Well, let's uh, just try and knock all as many of these out as we can before we go down. Oh, that's a bad shot. Now let's just go fucking ram our head into this thing. Ah, yeah, well, if I had stayed up, I'm probably going to finish that thing off, but... These pirates were wise not to store all their treasure on this ship. They're more clever than I expected. What is this? Is this a thing? What is that? Okay, well, it's gone now. We'll get some, a little bit of ammo. We'll get moving. I th That super the, uh, is, of, like, the head-first dive into a target That's is just fun as shit to do. Catch. 
That one's pretty good, too. And so now I'm amplified. So that's I guess that's one of the new concepts behind the way this subclass works is that you do stuff to get amplified, and when you are amplified, you will have certain effects. This crew is larger than I remember. Hope you've got ammunition, Guardian. Oh, well, I mean, they... They eliminated the concept of ammo for most of your weapons, like, several expansions ago. So I think we'll be okay. Those servitors got the info and yeah, once you, once you go amplified, it will have certain effects. You can configure what those effects are. Which is interesting. Um... All right. Oh, hey, hi. All right, we've done that. Well, whatever that is. We, we did whatever that is. So I think, you know, if, if there was a problem... If there's a problem with Destiny 2... It is that I feel like their verbs haven't changed that much in terms of, like you do in game you are either standing in a circle until a meter fills up which we just did some of or you are collecting a ball of some kind and dunking the ball on a target or on in some kind of receptacle And I feel like there's still quite a bit of that. And that stuff's... Aramis must have made quite the impression fine, on his crew. but there's... Just, I don't know. They're just, they're, there's a lot of, like, run up to a thing, hold down your, your interact button, and then your radio chatter starts up and someone tells you that you just did something important and, and all of that sort of stuff. And so... You know, I think from a from a gameplay perspective, they haven't really gotten away from that when it comes to a lot of the basic activities. You know, the stuff that, you know, uh, raids have more complicated mechanics in a sense, but a lot of the stuff, you know, I've only done two raids over the course of Destiny's existence. But they both had a lot of that. You know, there was a lot more context of like when you did what when and, you know, it, like it was much more complicated in a grand sense. But when you break it down to like the shit you are doing... It was sort of, all right, dunk those balls. And then once you dunk all the balls, the enemy will start taking damage. So then now shoot the enemy. And um, I think it needs a little bit more of that and more, more to it than that. They've, I, and I, that, that said, I've not done a lot of the more recent activities, dungeons and, and some of the other stuff they've added to the game. But I just, I, I'm kind of left with the impression that like gameplay is is still what it is, which is, again, I, the shooting feels really good. The combat itself is really nice, and I think they've they've made these subclasses a lot more fun to play with their redesign, and that's been awesome. But like that's the piece that kind of doesn't, you know, like hasn't maybe changed enough. Also, I think I would have liked to have seen, you know, it doesn't necessarily fit with the story they've decided to tell, but more new enemies, more like even even more new enemies to fight uh, in in the form of like full on new factions and, and, you know, just totally different experiences. It's been a long time since what was the scorn came in. What was it? What? I think I fucking teleported. Not nice. I want to punch something. Alright, we blew up a bunch of shit.
the most recent raid is is also dunk until the the yeah. boss can take damage. Yeah. No. Well, it begins with a nonverbal invocation and speaks of camaraderie and combat. Then it. All right, we got a gun. It becomes difficult to translate. I'll study this further. But it's a lower number than the one we've been using. Unacceptable. You know, the, the raids are interesting, but also I don't want to do them. I don't want to do them ever again. I don't want to, I don't want to even think about the raids in this game. Um, because it's just a level of coordination. I'm just not going to, probably not going to, to have access to, um, I think my my big disconnect with this game happened when they launched this area, the helm, which seems to be... It felt like it started out as like a, hey, you don't want to load all the way into the tower to do your, um, you know, character management and picking up quests and all this other stuff. So here's a tiny little ship that has the same kiosks that the hub has, but instead it's more like... Now it changes a little bit every season and has like it's it, it. so now it's got last season. There was a guide. There was some kind of weird alien creature down here somewhere that you went and talked to the season before that, that I played. There was some kind of machine down here that you used to make. No, the, I'm sorry. The machine is on the moon that you used to make guns and and uh, staves and staves. And now there's this thing. The star chart. All right, this will be the thing that makes that shotgun something we actually want to equip. Visit the star chart in the helm. We've done that. Now do I just cash that in immediately? I don't even know. Guardian, I thought the elixir had moved on from such. So yeah, like as as someone who has not been keeping up with Seems Destiny a whole lot. It feels like every time I come back to it, there's like nine more confusing things that I'm just like, all right, now I need to go to this war table here and, you know, uh, and, and fucking attune these engrams and, and, and so on and so forth. And, and I, I don't really have a good grasp on that aspect of the game. I have, I just, I just never have, but, but remember that you are a guardian chosen. By the, light. the whole idea of like, hey, I, you know, now these that they've pirates, redesigned the subclass, the, the subclass that I play is the last one they redesigned. And so Eric going back in, the into the game and having that and being able to kind of respect that shit and do all that has been fucking cool. Not. Feels real good. I fear that Aramis may seek. <sighs> Pay me no mind. But, you know, who's Aramis? I don't know. Raise arms against these pirates and discover the truth. I don't, I don't know. Self. Okay, I'm now here's an, uh, an, an Elixni pirate lord item. Sure, I'll, I'll get that. Then, as we rank up with this thing, as we fill this meter up, we get access to rank rewards. We can take on bounties that will give us, I guess this is just regular XP, but maybe it, does it? Okay, complete catch crash, which we just did, and expedition missions to increase your savvy. So we need to level up our savvy, and then we get pieces of repute, which we can put into these things to unlock something. Oh, so this is the crew upgrades. So this is when they were talking about crew upgrades. You're probably unlocking that sort of stuff here. Question mark. No idea. But also like this, this menu, there's a different one of these for every single season they do. And so I think, I think there's still one over here from one of the previous seasons. See? 
different rank rewards, but a and a but a, and a different type of upgrades, but like also a different. This one uses insight, and so every season they just kind of do a different version of this menu, and so they redesign your ship here to be like I don't know. Now there's this thing here and all this gold, but when you get in here, the menu is still the same, and you're like, I, okay, that's fucking strange. Strange isn't necessarily the word. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's, um... It's easy to get lost. Even even though these menus are all pr still pretty similar and stuff, there's still an aspect of, of it of just like, I don't know what I need to do to fill this one out. So I just kind of... And, and because I'm not finishing any one thing, um... Plundered Umbral Energy is used to focus Umbral Engrams at the star chart. Okay, so Engrams are supposed to be random items, like Diablo style. You bring them back, like Fantasy Star Online. You bring it back and it goes, do, 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 and it says, it's a gun. And you're like, sick. Um, But with that energy, you can try to determine what gun it will be. But I don't have any Engrams to cash in anyway, so we probably don't need to do that now. Was there anything in here? Yeah. Nothing I want, but hey. We're just going to dust that immediately. In fact, is there anything else I can get rid of here? No. no let's, this glaive is from a few, a few seasons ago. I made this glaive. And I think I might need that glaive if I ever want to go back and do whatever the rest of that event was. So, uh, I mean, I could always go put it in my vault or something, but then I'll never see it again and never even think about it. So, uh, 1546, we're, we're going to, we're dusting this leg armor. We don't need it. Increases thunder crash damage. That's been pretty fun. Uh, but normally I use these, uh, the dune marchers, because uh, it lets you run faster and chain melee damage. But also the subclass changes they made also chains melee damage. So. So I've taken them off for the first time in uh, a very long time. Um, all right. Now what? Examine the... Okay. Examine the details of the Captain's Atlas in your quests. Details. So now it's like we've got menus on menus. This is normally like... This is just the... Hey, here's your list of quests. And like there's kind of a little bit here. But now they've got a sub page here. And I can... What? I can slot a treasure map. If I have enough map fragments and treasure coordinates, I can slot a, a map into this step. So there's just like the layers of like menus and menus and then another layer deep of menus and stuff like that probably doesn't benefit players that don't constantly play the game. <laughs> um, okay, basic treasure map restored. Loot buried treasure at the end of an expedition activity. Okay. Now my next question, what's an expedition activity? Expedition playlist, here we go. Your fire team must have at least one weapon of capable of stunning unstoppable champions. What is that? What does that mean? It does have matchmaking. So let, let's... Do I have one? Is this one? None of my mods seem to indicate that. Use the artifact to un oh, so I have to use the season artifact to unlock a mod that anti barrier. 
I have an auto rifle equipped, right? So, would that be here then? Ar oh, it's arm armor. Okay. Anti-barrier auto rifle. Okay. Let's increase reload speed of auto rifles while we're at it. I could upgrade this, but... Honestly... One of the crews we handled has some loot buried out here. Find a path to the drill site and destroy any who oppose you. Ah, there's the beast racks. Get off the thing. There we go. I guess I'll just begin drilling. Well, we'll stand here and shoot stuff. Another staple. Oh, is this up? Do we? Oh, this is treasure. We could be seizing. Wait. Right. Yeah, okay, so we got to throw the treasure into the thing. Is that? So this is what I was talking about. Of Yeah, you get balls and then you sometimes got to throw the balls into stuff. Put ball in hole, the video game. Electronic interference slows our efforts. Eliminate our opponent's channel. Okay. Oh, I want to punch people. I didn't come here to not punch shit. I can smell a big score nearby. Bring down that cabal. I also will say, uh, I don't like the drifter, who's that guy who was just talking. I think his voice is fucking dumb. And this whole season seems to be built around him, because he's a bit of a scalawag, and so naturally he would be in the one about pirates. But the actual, it's, it's kind of the, the push and pull of Destiny, right? Is like, I think that the actual combat feels really good, and it always has. Oh, are we, is this, is this, are we just like fucking escorting a payload? Is this just some... Boy. All right, enough shotgun. This fucking guy. Oh, man. The fuck happened there? Okay. Thank you. Oh, we're here.
Nope, I missed. No, I didn't miss. We're good. No, that didn't go. A bunch of these fuckers, huh? All right. You, 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 you. All right, fuck that guy, fuck you, fuck you. Is there any more treasure out here? Here we go. bad up here. Okay, back to doing the escort thing. seem to have actually... Well, maybe it did. I don't know. this. Oh, how about a little bit of that for you? Oh, hey, that worked out. This shotgun is not terrible. I, I don't know. I, I'm, you know, you know me. I'm not much of a shotgun guy. a beeping noise. Oh, it's just doing... Oh, okay. We're just defending it from this stuff now. How about a little bit of that for you? Ugh. That's fun. Oh, and I got this thing, too. The rise up in the air and then come down like that. A little bit of that for you. Oh, look at how fast he reloaded that gun. Grab your booty, it says. Part of the pirate ethos. But we are going to use this newfound wealth to help the people of the city. Correct? We got a helmet with the number that is two higher than the other one. We're in business. What do we got over here? 1546, 15... Hang on to it for now. Worry about it later. Crew celebrated. I'm gonna flip my knife. I'm gonna do this. All right. Well. We shot a bunch of stuff. 
You missed the mound? What is... I saw no mound. Whatever. Oh, loot buried treasure at the... Well, that sucks. <laughs> Probably should have pointed that out a little bit better, I guess. I don't know. Um... Let's see. Is there anything else to do? I guess my point is the the redesign. I think is uh, the the class redesign. As as someone who has not been playing one of the has not been playing a redesign class until you know this week. Like this aspect of the game, I think is really cool. It is fun to set this stuff up as like, oh, this is this is exactly how I want to play, and I might change to. Thunderclap because it seems kind of cool, but um, but it sounds cool as opposed to that jumping kind of melee dive thing. That seems like it would be fun to do. So I'm thinking I might change to that and see how that goes. But but I don't know if we have any more easy activities to do right now because I guess I didn't do this so. Well, do I need to... Okay, well, it still has basic treasure maps, so I guess some other time I could run that again and find this mound that I supposedly missed? I don't know. Um, I'm a golden trace man. If you ask me, that's, that's where I'm at. But I guess the thing I get, you know, like I never reach any kind of end game situation with any season of destiny or like, I'm never hitting whatever the fucking power cap is ever. So I'm constantly in this stage of every time I come back to it, I can just do regular ass missions and find new gear. And so I'm never upgrading, like I, I'm never spending any of the upgrade materials that you get because I'm always getting more stuff. Occasionally, like whatever, you know, whatever exotic I'm using, like maybe I'll upgrade that one or two times. But, um, but since you're always finding new boots, there's no point in upgrading these boots. You know, if it comes with a level three, like I might as well slot stuff into these slots because it's, you know, it's, it's free to do so. Or I could, you know, spend some basic like leveling, you know, okay, level eight. I don't have enough enhancement prisms. Where do you get an enhancement prism? Fucking, I don't know. But this one's level four. So upgrading this would, you know, it's just shards and glimmer and I'm at the glimmer cap like eternally. And... I have a lot of legendary shards, so if I wanted to take this up to five or six or whatever, yeah, you know, you could do it. But like upgrading all that stuff to masterwork at a point where I'm probably just going to replace it with the next drop. There's really not a lot of incentive to spend a lot of these materials. And so. Um, so it creates kind of a weird situation. With some of that stuff. So I don't worry about it. I think that's the the thing I uh, I came to the realization of, of just like fuck it. I'm just gonna play it. I know I'm never gonna be like, I'm, unless something dramatic changes and they they do something else. Like I'm probably never gonna be a big end game destiny player. I'm never gonna be grinding out like oh I hit the soft cap and now I need to do this and I need to do this and and all that. Like I'm 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 kind of done with that. So I'll just come into it and appreciate the cool ass art and go like, yep, this is still a really good looking game and I'm still having fun with it. And then I'm going to not necessarily grind forever in it or, or, or whatever. But, um, but I guess the next thing I would have to do is, uh, is do that thing we just did again. Cause it's step three of 62. <laughs> um, or I could do this stuff, I guess. Uh, that's that's from the last big expansion that I haven't done all of that. 
I could go do the star horse thing over and over again. Yeah. That's Destiny 2. All right. Um... I find Destiny 2 to be a really good late night game. A really good like, oh yeah, hey, I'm going to go um you know, I'll just I'll I'll play a few missions and when I played it the other night, I um I jumped in and you know, cuz it'll it'll tell you like, hey, if you do this, you'll get pinnacle gear and you there's like some weekly things you can do to get uh good items or or whatever. And so one of those was like play three multiplayer matches. I'm like, well, I guess I'll just do that real quick. And I did that. And I was like, oh, I really, really don't want to play any multiplayer, like competitive multiplayer in this game ever again, unless it's just to get a piece of gear for playing three matches and just like, well, I'm just going to lose because, well, two reasons. One, I play on a controller on PC and I'm sure most people are mouse and keyboard at this point. Um, I don't know if they did, cause I don't think they do controller based matchmaking. Do they? Um, didn't feel like it when I was playing. Um, and I am just fucking no good at it. Like people have been playing the shit out of those maps and all the other stuff. And, and they know which weapons are good in multiplayer and all that stuff. And I'm just like going in with the same gear I'm using. It's going like, fuck it. I'm just going to get in here and do what I can. And the answer is not so much, not so much, but, um, you know, is it is what it is. Let's see. We had a couple of other uh, suggestions. This one came out this week. And I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. Uh, this happened. And hang on, let me see if I can get this back to working the way it was supposed to work before we played Des Destiny 2. Capture foreground with hotkey. You're missing the Unity logo. Oh, you caught a little bit of the Unity logo. This is a little game called Pac-Man World Repack. What's up, everybody? Hey, how's it going? I hope you're having a happy Friday. Just hanging out. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to just, I don't know, just come on for a little bit and play a video game or two. Um, you know, just, just real quick, like, uh, you know, maybe some, some hot new releases, um, thought it'd be cool to just to get on and do a video, video game. Um, I've been, I've been meaning to play more of this, uh, recent, re this, uh, recent release. Uh, I don't. Just uh, haven't really played any video games today, so it's nice to be able to sit down with you, even if only for, you know, uh, 20 minutes or so, and enjoy just an un you know, an, a new a hot release here. Um, this game is called, what is this called? This game is called Rumbleverse. And it's, uh, it's been out for a little bit. And, uh, I haven't really done much, uh, I haven't... It's, uh, how do I, hang on. I don't know why, oh, it's weird. My screen is dragged over to the right a little bit. I don't know why that would be that way. Let's fix that. Um... Well, I don't know why now it's not showing up anymore. That's weird. That's, it was. It was fine. What happened? Why is this not working? It works there. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. Well, let's just, uh, let's 
let's just get one of these in. That'll be fun. Uh, you know, I haven't really done anything else with video games today. Uh, Try one of these. I uh, I played a little bit last night and, and haven't really had too much. I haven't really had too much time to play this. I. I don't feel good. I don't know why. I just I feel uh Let's see what's going on in the chat here while we wait. I don't know if you saw but Pac-Man World Repack came out today. You should check it out. Oh, maybe sometime. I don't I don't have it installed. I don't really know anything about that game. Uh, I mean, it's a remake of an old game, right? Is it an old game? This is a weird initial circle. Not a lot of freeway in the circle. Yeah, they made a new Pac-Man game? What is that? I don't know. Uh, did they do a new Pac-Man? That's that guy from the 80s, right? The cartoon? Mesmeron? People seem very big on the sumo slap in this game. Guy from Smash? Oh, so I, yeah, I don't, I haven't really seen it. Probably go somewhere and eat this chicken. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's weird that they would put out a new Pac Man. I haven't, I hadn't heard about that. That's, uh, that sounds cool. I don't know. Like I, I remember, I remember that guy from, uh, yeah, that cartoon. And you know, there was the other. They did other video games, right? I mean, not like a you know, they was like it's like Ms. Pac-Man. It's like they did like they didn't do like Pac-Man Two or anything weird like that. It's like you know, Professor Pac-Man. Like a junior, like a junior, but it's like the, the one that's the pinball machine. Yeah, and no, I, I remember back, man. Whatever happened to that guy? Yeah, that guy did the thing I was like going to try to stop him from doing, but then he just went ahead and did it and... Ow! Oh. Yeah, you did again. That's you're doing the thing that I was wanted to do. 
People have gotten really good at these wall splat combos in a way that I have not, and... Oh, yeah. That's gonna go bad for me. This is gonna go... This is keep continuing to go bad for me. I gotta go. I tried to block that. It didn't happen for me. I gotta go. For real now. Oh, that didn't work at all. Oh, man. Yep, that's it. That's about how it goes. That's about how it goes. Wait, I do remember now. I do remember. Pac-Man, right? I remember it all now. We did that, didn't... That was... Was that today? Was that today we did a Pac-Man? That goddamn... Why would they do that? Why would they remake Pac... Why the fuck would they remake Pac-Man World? Why would... Haven't we suffered enough? As a... As a people? As a... Why would your reward for surviving this lunch? Having punches repeatedly thrown at your face, Maria? Good luck. I'm so uh, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna lose this one too. I'm gonna do so terribly here in this match. I am so like playing, playing Pac-Man World repack, and then playing Pac-Man World not repack. As I feel, I feel bad. My insides, like I my I don't feel like I'm holding the controller right. I just like not. I feel awful right now. That game has like ruined my like. I cannot focus. I cannot. I, I'm Oh, okay. We just I got to like center my I got to do I center myself. I don't know what I got to do. I don't know what I got to do, but I I don't feel right. I thought maybe playing some of this because this has been like my, you know, like a good time kind of fun thing for me. Oh, but that was what the fuck am I doing? Yep. Every bad choice I can make, I'm making it over and over again. Yep. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep doing it. Yeah. Can I at least get out of here? No. Get. I just want to, to just let me enjoy my protein powder. Oh, this is, I'm going the wrong way. No, this is, this is, that game has knocked me for a loop in a way that I, I cannot, I'm having trouble like describing to you right now. I, That was a bad jump.
Nope. That guy's got the meat sweats. Oh, what? I. Hmm. Why is it? What is. Hmm. Yeah, okay, sure. Didn't go quite how I wanted it to. Okay, sure. Ah! Yep. That's, no, nope, that's, yeah. Okay, sure. There we go. There we go. At least we got a guy. Jeez. Got a guy with some big chicken on him. We need all the chicken we can get. Nope, that's that's not that's probably not what I should have done there. Yeah. This wall stuff. This wall business. Yes, let's do that. The ring is on the move. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, I'm the Oh, you're doing the thing with the chair. I don't like that. I hope you like oh, oh. Sure. How's that for you? I gotta go. Wait, did he have anything cool? Like a bunch of chicken for me to eat? Because, geez, I need it. Uh, goal shot over the super kick? Yeah, actually, why not? Oops, I did not mean to hit that there, but I did. Ah, hmm, okay. I thought I was up on that ledge and I was safe, but... Nope. All right, that's the wrong direction for that. I'm just, again, mistakes. I am making so many of them. This, uh, That Pac-Man situation. Let's just, can we stand here long enough to chicken up? Yeah, I don't want that. Not right now. Let's uh let's go towards the circle. Okay, what's going on? We got 14 people left. Yeah, I've... And then you've gone and done that. Okay, let's... How about that? And then this... Ooh, ah, mm. This is... Okay, sure. Let's go. Didn't think I was going to get one off, but I did. 
And it didn't even take you all the way out. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, that did not... Come on, you gotta be out of the... Okay, you gotta be out of juice by now. What are we... Okay, there. Bouncing off the car to try to catch the building never seems to work out the way I think it's going to. Oh, jeez. Uh, you were coming my way, huh? Oh, okay. Well, I got somebody. There's been some interesting dolphin dive to uh, uh, spear combos that I've been seeing more lately. That is the first time I've seen anything cool with the dolphin dive. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of action up here. Oh, this is going bad all the way, huh? Nope. That's a bad move. I made a bad move and I'm dead. Boom. Dead. Right, yeah, no, the air dodge. I don't, I don't, I don't air dodge a lot. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely get a little bit more air control and some other stuff like that. This game's really good. I'm, uh, I'm having a good time with it, and it seems like it is, it is stabilized. It was a, a rough first week there with stat resets and and all this sort of stuff. Um, and so I, you know, between that and between. You know, Saints Row coming in and, and me wanting to spend a bunch of time with that to, you know, to know, to know for sure. Um, I haven't played as nearly as much of this as I wanted to, but. Only fucking four more bat strikes. Step counter. Okay. Get around. Okay. All right. Okay. But yeah, I'm so I got about so I only have one win since they've reset stats and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and that win is on. I, I got that win on the Steam Deck, uh, remote playing PS5, which had some latency to it and didn't feel great. But it seems like that is now the only way to play it on a Steam Deck because they started putting out their anti cheat stuff. And so it was working on Steam Deck for a little bit of time there, uh, which was a magical time. And then now it does not work anymore, unfortunately. So hopefully that's something that they, you know, do something with and and, and make that work again. It's not obviously something that's going to be a, uh, a big priority for them, I'm sure, considering it's not even on Steam. Um... Yeah, you could do Steam Link from PC also. That is that is something that works. I feel like that installs like whenever you start doing that, it starts installing like virtual audio driver redirect stuff or something. But um and I don't I don't like having extra weird fake audio devices on my system because this audio routing stuff is already weird enough with everything I do to do streaming stuff that, you know, adding that into the mix when it comes to like, cause that's Oculus installs its own virtual desktop installs one. Like, you, you know, you get just a lot of where it just decides to reset. Like, Oh, this one's the default now. And now none of your system audio works anymore. And you're like, wait, I, Oh, I got to go reset all this stuff again. And, and it's just not fun uh, to do any of that. Um, man, I am, I feel bad inside. I thank you to Ballskin for subscribing and Captain America 8 and 4, 84. And some Hibs and Earth Sauce and everybody. But I, the, this Pac Man, this, this, this Pac Man situation makes me feel. I, I don't. I feel I'm going into the weekend feeling tainted. I feel I feel bad. I don't feel good. I that
it's just I just I don't I, I I don't know what happened. Today was going really well, and then something I don't know. Then we then we played then we played some uh, pa some Pac Man World Repack, and now I I don't I don't feel good anymore. I don't I, the light has left my eyes and my soul. My stomach doesn't. I don't. It does not. It does not feel good. Destiny Two is in stores now. Pac Man World Repack is in stores now, and um, Rumbleverse is in stores now. I hope you're. In, I hope you have a good. I hope you have a good weekend. Um, you know, be back next week. Uh, you might you might see a little bit of me on Monday. Uh, a little later in the day. I'm not sure yet. We are going to have folks in working on the house. And so there's just a bunch of crazy stuff going on. And so uh, with that crazy stuff, I might, um, I might have a little bit more time in the evening time to get a stream in. We'll see how it all works out. I don't know how it's going to work out, which is why I'm very tentative about it. But the hope is that uh, there'll be, you know, you'll, Maybe see a little bit more of me in the beginning part of the week. Otherwise, you will definitely see me on Tuesday for the podcast. And um, I don't. I was like, oh yeah, well maybe we'll check out some. Maybe we'll talk about Pac Man World first, but I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. Any plans to check out the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection? Let me look at my email and tell you if I can. How much I can? What if? What I can say about that? question here real quick um i'll just type in turtles no that's not gonna okay we'll type in a tmnt well that there we go okay we will talk about the teenage mutant ninja turtles calabunga collection next week that is that is when I can talk about that. But yes, I, I've been um, I, I played a little bit of that. So yes, um, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm I, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm all I'm super out of sorts. I don't. I'm gonna go eat something and try to get. Uh, try to just get um, get back get get right. I'm I'm not I'm not right. I don't feel right. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why Pac-Man World Repack would have this power over me, but it just, I, there's this, I do not, I, I am unhappy about that game. I, the, I, all right, I, I gotta, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go eat something. Every, everybody have a great weekend. Uh, keep on chomping, eat those dots, eat those ghosts. Everybody have a great one. Pack up and pack out.